the next deck is interesting. It's a modern, and I would say revision, because it's really not true to the original. It's called the Golden Renaissance. Uh, and what it's modeled after is the Estancia deck. The actual Estancia deck, oh, I should have mentioned the Mantegna that I showed before, prior to this, came out about 1460. This is from 1480, the Estancia deck. Now, this deck only has about 17 or 20 existing cards that are still left, and all of them are trump cards except for the Knight of Swords, I believe. <clears throat> and so everything else is up to artistic interpretation. And in this particular revision, they took it to a very modern interpretation, if you ask me. So here's the uh, Fool card, which I always show. This is the King of Staves, the Queen of Cups, a Knight of Swords, and a Page of Cups, it looks like to me. Although it says it's Pentacles, so these Pentacles hovering above them. I was confused looking at the armor here, thinking it was cups and for my trumps which I use the same every time I have again the Sun the devil and the chariot now where this where the wheels come off basically as far as I'm concerned on this deck are the pip cards so decks from this era just did not have illustrated pip cards they just were like poker deck where they indicated the number that the card represented but in this case they are illustrated and they're illustrated much like modern tarot pip decks or pips are illustrated here we have uh, five of staves a six of coins, the four of swords, and a six of cups. And as you can plainly see, they're very well illustrated. The illustration actually takes up more space than the suits, where that just doesn't happen in decks from this era. The Estancy deck. Uh, as I said, that came out about 1480. I mean, there is a slight possibility that they did have illustrated pips because the next deck is the one that's actually acknowledged to be one of the first decks with an illustrated set of pips or minor arcana cards. It's a very unusual deck and we do actually have a full version of it. it was we have all the metal plates for it and it's called the solo busca or busca I don't know how you say it I only am murdering my words I'm sure I have two different versions of this deck neither of which I'm real totally happy with because neither one is uh, well, how can I say it? There's this one which is really small and almost looks like it was printed off of somebody's printer. It's a little bit better quality than that. It's not quite that bad. It does have like nice backs and the fronts are nice and everything, but they're tiny. And uh, it's just really small. Now these are fairly true to the original. This is the King of Swords, Queen of Cups, a knight of staves and a page of coins. The colors on this are a little bit muted. Uh, the other deck version of I that I have of this, the cards are much larger. These are even smaller than poker cards, as you can see. Um, but she really took a lot of uh, artistic license with them. These are closer to what the original actually looks like. Here's just some of the suits. There's the seven of staves the three of swords 
three of coins, and the nine of cups. Uh, if you're familiar with the Rider Waite deck, you'll notice that this Three of Swords is very reminiscent of the Rider Waite. And this deck came out in 1490. So this is a very old deck. It predates the Rider Waite by a couple hundred years. Um, and as for trumps, again, there's the Sun card, the Devil card, and the Chariot. They don't, they aren't really called that. What they have done is associated the different names. Like Baco, Nero is in here somewhere. He's actually on the strength card, and I can't read some of the others because the, the colors are so dark. It's very difficult to read. The nice thing that this person did was very subtly, like there's a seven here, a three here, a three here, and a nine here in Arabic numbers and on the trumps the numbers are in Roman numerals so you can kind of see where the cards are supposed to fit although the devil is not 14 he's supposed to be at 15 so <laughs> it's just it's an odd deck to work with but it's nice to have in the collection so just to contrast that, here's the other one that's also Solo Busca. It's much bigger, which is nice. So there's the Fool card. Here's my King of Swords, Queen of Hearts. Colors a little nicer. They're still pretty muted. I like how there's no borders, although the images are cropped in some cases. Like this particular one is not, actually doesn't show as much of the image as the smaller deck has. That's the page. Now on the pip cards <laughs> they're completely different. So there's a seven of staves, an eight of coins, here's the three of hearts. You can see it's been zoomed in quite a bit and cropped and same with the nine of cups. So I don't know that I like that that they have been um, cropped so heavily and on my trumps move them up a little bit again that's the fool this is the sun which she added the <coughs> sun that wasn't there on the other one the devil and chariot and again you just don't get the full card on here I, I would prefer to get this deck cropped similar in size to this, but with the full images and notations that this smaller deck has. That is what I would like to see. Now supposedly the Solobusca is being on, currently on display at one of the museums in Italy, and they're going to re-release it. Oh, and as a true reproduction, I'm not sure how expensive it's going to be, though, but I bet it's expensive. And both of these decks came from independent printers, so you can't get them from, like, uh, Amazon or something. You'll have to go... Uh, I think I got them, actually, both off of Etsy. <clears throat> so if you do a search on Solo Busca, you should be able to find them. Now, the next deck is also very different. And it's much closer to what... Uh, I mentioned earlier where it seemed like the Tarot was emerging between the Mantegna cards and the Mamluk cards, and it's called the Minciate. And I'm probably murdering the pronunciation as well. This particular deck has over 90 cards in it, uh, mainly because it's including like the fates and the virtues and all of the signs of the zodiac in it which those cards are not in a typical tarot deck so and these are somewhat small cards as well as you can see they're a little bit taller but they're a little bit narrower than a standard poker deck this is the fool here is a king of coins a queen of swords jack of 
staves. All the jacks are half man, half animal. And the page of cups. And here's the suits. This is how a typical suits look on almost all of your old style tarot decks. They're just indicate the count of the actual thing. So you got three of cups, two swords, six coins, and six staves. Now on trumps, move those out of the way. Again, you have the sun, the devil, and the chariot. Some of the additional cards uh, are elements, so that's fire. Here's Sagittarius, there's Pisces, and Capricorn. So, and I didn't pull any of the fates apparently, or any of the uh, virtues, but they're also in there, and that's what make, brings the count. Uh, I believe it's 96 or 98 cards. It's in the 90s. And again, we're still, these are decks that were used for playing card games. They were not used for divination at this point, even still. And this deck came out uh, around 1550. So this is still way back there, back in the mid 1500s.